This problem is solved by enclosing the wire and plate in a glass bowl. Then a vacuum is created by pumping out every possible air out. And right here is where we get the name vacuum tube. Now the negative electrons shoot straight at the positive plate without interference. This pulling of electrons from atoms isn't done for amusement. On the contrary, it's an important economic problem. Research to date has increased many fold the number of electrons that can be freed for a cent. And each year, this little item alone saves us about $12 million on the power bills to run our radio cells. Here is how it was done. Research revealed that some atoms give up their electrons more willingly than others. So the engineers devised coatings for vacuum tube filaments. These coatings produce surfaces which permit electrons to escape at comparatively low temperatures. In this way, the power required to heat the filament is substantially reduced.